everyone, this is Davi Eva from Senegal. Many people, they believe that the original dish, jollof rice, comes from this area in West Africa, from Senegal, from the Gambia, and from Southern Mauritania, the jollof empire. So today we will cook that original dish. Jep means rice, jen means fish. So jepu jen is rice with fish. So today we will do the original one, jepu jen, rice with fish. Welcome home to us and welcome to the pots. Let's cook together. This is our house here in Senegal and this is the place where we will do the cooking. We will cook jepu jen, the original jollof rice. Welcome to our place. Today's head chef is Umi and she decided we will cook inside because outside is very windy. Here is what we need. The moringa leaves or parsley if you want. We have fresh fish. We have the tamarind. Fresh tomatoes and tomato puree, seasoning cubes, black pepper, green onion, green pepper, cassava, carrot, garlic, cabbage, bitter tomato, eggplant, hot pepper, salt, radish and of course onions. Now let's talk about the rice. Here in Senegal and in many other countries in West Africa, this is the rice you use, the broken jasmine rice. It brings every rice dish a very delicious character. Umi starts with heating generous amounts of oil in a big pot. The moringa leaves are washed and we put them in the mortar and pestle together with garlic, hot pepper, green onion, salt, black pepper and seasoning cubes. This will be the aromatics for the fish. The fresh fish is properly cleaned, salted and stuffed with the pounded aromatics. And when the oil is smoking hot, it's time to fry the fish and we fry them in batches. When the fish is fried, we remove it from the pot and then we pound onion, garlic, seasoning cubes, black pepper, hot pepper, green onion, green pepper, salt. We mash the tomatoes and we blend them together with some water, some salt and some tomato puree. We add everything to the hot oil, the tomatoes, together with a pounded onion and the other spices and we let it fry for quite a long time. I would say this moment took about maybe 15 minutes so that everything will be very very well fried. Make sure to stir often so that it will not get burned. When the stew is well fried, we add some water and we also add all the vegetables. Then Umi washes the rice and she also adds the fish back into the pot. She puts all the rice in a sift like this and the rice is steamed on top of the stew. Yeah, so while we are waiting for the rice, we will have some ataya. This is the typical tea here in Senegal, in the Gambia, in Mauritania, in Mali, uh, in Guinea. They all have ataya. It's a green tea, very sweet. It's very strong. It's very sweet. You add some mint to it. It will keep you going throughout the day in this heat. It will keep you going. The rice is about half done and ready to be added to the stew. And Umi also washes and pounds the tamarind and takes out all the veggies and fish from the pot. 
Before adding the rice to the pot, Umi saves some of the soup for the tamarind to let the tamarind soak in it and become more soft. We add the rice and we let the heat go down. Everything is done. Umi, our head chef, has put on her lunch outfit and she is now ready to prepare the bowls. One bowl is for those of us in the house. One bowl is for her husband's working place. This rice is cooked until perfection. I wish you were here to smell the aromas in the kitchen right now. When Umi is distributing everything, the fish, the veggies, everything, and also spoons of the tamarind paste. Everything is ready. Come and eat. for being a part of this cooking experience of the Jebu Jem. Maybe it is the original Jollof rice. Who knows? Anyway, take care of yourself. Happy New Year to all of you. Bye-bye.